What is up my friends on the internet? So, the last video, we didn't get the 240 running. I'm kind of bummed about it, but that's okay. It happens. Um, so I have kind of the update of the day after that. And, all right, Ryan looks dead. This man works harder than anyone I know. Here's the chosen piece that we need. One of the pieces we need for the 240. Now it's just figuring out why the fuel isn't getting to the engine. So it's this little dude, shout out to whoever sent this to me from Puerto Rico, I think. Yeah, so we're gonna go plug it in. And Ryan's gonna show me dope ass wheels. Not those. So yeah, those are uh, some old Urez that are really aggressive sized and really kind of sought after that I don't think anyone knew existed until Ryan got those. Here's some more cool wheels. T-Man just hit us up in the chat like one day and he's like, boom, I bought these and none of us knew. These are OEM lips on these weds and they're actually somewhat aggressive. Well, I don't know, maybe not aggressive. Aggressive isn't the right word, but they're pretty good size and I think he wants to run those on his 300ZX eventually. Then there's T-Man's new truck next to my wee little baby. Have you test fit these yet? No. Yeah, if you're a real one, you know. Amount of like dope ass pairs of wheels that you have is kind of, whoa, weird. They used to be red. Orange, yeah, red, orange, 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 pink maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that'll be sick. Hold them up to the, the, that wheel really quick and we'll see. Right, nine? Yeah, that's sick, dude. Oh man, yeah. These are the, one of those wheels that are just like master wheels. And the fact that these are aggressive also really, really helps. Right now, it's about a week or two after that. No, probably a little bit longer than that. But I'm gonna go get some tires flipped around and I figured I'd take this vlog with me for this. Uh, we'll say what's up to Kyle and then I need to wash this thing because I have been driving it every single day because it's my daily. It has so much brine and salt on it that I've probably made it rust beyond repair. But that's okay, it's a car, you're supposed to drive it. Nebraska is awful. I'll explain it all, we'll go see Kyle. So off we go. So here we are in Valley, Nebraska. Uh, the shop is down in an undisclosed area, but I'm at this super rinkadink, tiny little wand wash. But what's nice is that there's no wait. Uh, all the other car washes that I drove by today were like a good five cars waiting in line or more. So I didn't want to do that. Um, this is so disgusting. I'm sorry how dirty this car is. Like. It doesn't even look that bad on camera, but it's actually terrible. So, gonna wash this and then head over there. Wow, okay, I feel a lot better about this car now. I'm not even gonna dry it. Sorry, Kyle, I'm bringing it soaking wet. John Gallagher really came out swinging this year. Uh, twin turbo that bitch. This isn't John's car. Yeah, John's John's uh, John's car. It's looking yeah. it's looking pretty good. Yeah, so excited. I think he'll finally be able to uh, to beat Phil with those guys. No, but uh, Kyle did this for a client that we might have to go break his kneecaps if he doesn't <laughs> if he doesn't come get us money. But he'll show up. Do you want to show them? Oh, because you don't know how to open the door. Well, yeah, because oh, why didn't it? it doesn't the, have a battery. The battery's disconnected. Oh, so okay. Just, there's a. They all have like this emergency. Release wow, lever. so in case John ever kidnaps me, I know how to yeah. get away. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sick. So essentially, the Heeb did, this isn't very common in drift cars by any means, but this is basically on a swivel point here, right? Yep. And then this is just basically a pin that you can, is this for, for ease of use or do people take uh, them out? It's, it's for ease of use to get in and out, but then like he wants to still drive this on the street, and so he really only needs the cage for the track. Um, so you can swing the door bars out to get in and out easier, or he can pull that bolt out mm -hmm. and just remove them. Cause obviously this thing is going to be, what's the what's the reason for a cage? Under nine seconds or something like that in a fourth mile? Um, 8.50. Okay. Yep. So yeah. With me, I'm just gonna have door bars always in the 240 and just hope that I don't die if it gets in an accident. But yeah, look, it's like a straight up NASCAR. You did really good with how close this is though. Yeah, it's like as tight as you can get it. It's awesome, man. And then look, it really means business. Wonder if he'll get pulled over, not being able to see the plate. So if you pull this bolt out, um, then you can remove this part back, oh, nice. and then there's just like that little stub. That's cool. So, so it's very street car still. I mean, yeah, as much as it, as much as it can be. Yeah. So that's pretty rad. Twelve well, hundred horsepower street car, I guess. <laughs> okay, so essentially what we're doing is taking the two hundred fives off of the seven-inch Euro lines, and I'm going to put those on the fronts 
because I think that tire is way too meaty for a nine with the fitment I have. That way I can get all four of the SSRs back on. I'd like to go back and completely refinish these because, but I'm cheap and I don't want to buy new tires. Only the finest tires around here. Straight from China, ATR Sports. You know how we do it. Toyo, if you're watching, please, please. All right, so this is a 205, 40, but since the 43 sidewalls, I kind of think it might just want the factory little. Bringing out the guns. All right, gotta fill her up. Here's a skyline that's hovercrafting. So, everyone watching this, I'm assume assumes knows how that a cheetah works. Basically, you have a valve up top that you can fill with pressure, and you have your gauge right here. So what do you usually go to? to valve? So you go to about 100 PSI, and this is just a valve that you smack open, and it sprays all the air at once, thus stretching the tire. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, we'll see. Yes, sir. Yep. Beautiful. Look. Wow, I kind of like this stretch. Not bad. Functional. Mm -hmm. It just looks like it's mm -hmm. so far away from the lip. It's, <laughs> no, it's actually good. It's weird. It doesn't look like sketchy because it's not that 35. What do you want about? Like 30? 35, five? yeah, that's fine. Nice to have the full set back on. I didn't film us uh, throwing on the rear tire. The 235, literally, we just had to throw air on it, but it's not too crazy of a stretch or anything, but I kind of like it because it still is somewhat comfortable. Maybe I'll lower this later tonight, but for now, I'm about to go get some ramen noodles. 